to all my foodies out there and welcome back to the channel today you guys i got some arby's and i'm trying uh seeing commercials about their euros so that's what i chose to get and it looks so good i got the green one and the the sauce they have on here she said it's a cucumber sauce but it looks so good and I got some onion rings. Woo! They smell so good and they are huge. Okay, so let me say my grace and we're gonna get started, y'all. Amen. I don't know why I always clap after I do that. Excuse my retardedness, y'all. <laughs> okay, so today it's been crazy. Um, it rained so bad this morning. And after I dropped my daughter off, of course I went out and drove. Oh, that sauce is good. Okay, so I got three sauces. They call this a, hold on. It's a white, like mayo looking kind of sauce, but they call it horsey sauce. It tastes like mayo, so I think that's what it is. And we got ketchup, of course. And I got some... Uh, they three pepper spicy sauce so hopefully that's i tasted it on my fingers <laughs> so that one is good it's not really that spicy so and i really want to apologize for my video yesterday because it's like every time i try to film at home it's so hard because i think that my voice is projecting because the room i'm in is has an echo to it so from now on i have to just check and make sure that the audio is good because that wasn't, you know, I wasn't trying to give y'all bad content. Trust me. I wasn't. So let's see how this tastes. Mmm. 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 How about that, you guys? Like, mm -hmm. but it's some good meat. That is really, really good, y'all. Y'all need to go try that one. They have three. They got the, <clears throat> the Greek gyro, the turkey, and Greek gyro, turkey, and I'm going to these onion rings over the back. Mmm. Yeah, on point. Yeah, I don't know why they call this sauce horsey sauce. I thought it would, not this, this ketchup. This, I thought it would have tasted more like it had horseradish in it. But it just smelled like mayo, I don't know. Maybe that's what they wanted to put in there or have in there. They just put mayo. I don't know. But it tastes mayo-y to me, not horsey. Horsey, whatever they said. Whatever was on there. But this sandwich is really good. The meat is so flavorful. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. 
Maggie is good. <clears throat> and so when you go, yeah. <clears throat> but if you don't have an Arby's where you stay at, or never tried it. some point so like I said it's been crazy here today because literally they said it was going to rain but when I say y'all it was pouring down like cats and dogs everything it's a lot of back streets down here. Like we have, uh, <clears throat> there's like a truck and district down here. Like where all the trucks is made at and stuff like all down there was so flooded. This man got stuck. And I was, I was so scared because I picked this man up from his house and uh, oh, I got me some orange pop. No, but I picked this man up from his house somewhere. And when I say his streets was flooded and I'm like, oh my God, please do not let my car get stuck. Because once I think that happens, it's a wrap. Like once, once the water get in your engine, I don't know what it does. But when you ride through that water and it, and it rise up too far, I think your car is good, good is gone at that point. I don't know. But I was just so scared, y'all. And I was like, please. Let me make it out of here. And I had to take him all the way down there where those trucks and stuff be at. So it's like all those streets down there, is, they get flooded. They get flooded bad too. And when I say it took me like almost an hour to get from in that area, I was so scared. I'm like, Lord, please get me out of here. Because it is bad. Like you, like I, I knew some, I knew I was going to see somebody car get stuck because these people was constantly trying to get through this water. And I was like, no, I got to find another way. I might ride through that water. And that man got stuck. I was like, oh my God. And I prayed for him. Like, Lord, please have him a form of help. Cause I'm sorry, y'all. In that situation, it's like every man for themselves. Like you, you're trying to save your own car. You're not trying to, you know, everybody, I think, was still trying to get to work and wherever they was trying to go. <sighs> so this three pepper spicy sauce is pretty good. It's, it's a little spicy. Mm. Mm. It's spicy, but not too spicy to me. So yeah, it's been a stressful morning, but by the grace of God, I made it out without having to go through anything crazy, calling people like, you gotta come and get me. So, I hope that person got out that situation because that's a bad place to be in when you gotta call for help. It really is. But as long as help is available, and it's still a blessing all in this stuff. You just got to sit and wait and be patient. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, y'all. Like I said, I got the Greek one. Um,
But I hope everybody had a better morning than me. <laughs> because that was scary. I was like, oh my goodness. And he took me right where I didn't want to go. <clears throat> now, you don't know where you're going until you pick these people up. And when I say... I was like, oh my God. When I seen the first street flooded, I was like, oh my God, I forgot how bad it can get down here. When it rained, it's hard. And it was bad. It was bad. Not real bad. But anyway, <clears throat> it's over now. A couple of the freeways are closed at certain exits because it's just flooded under those, um, under the bridges. So, as of right now, Freeways is just bagged up. Like it's 12 o'clock now, and normally traffic is moving smooth. Mm. Excuse me. But it took, it was backed up because they had to block off two or three lanes because, <clears throat> excuse me, because you can't, um, they didn't want anybody else to get stuck. It was like, Seven accidents before I even left out this morning on a freeway. They're having the issue of one of the biggest freeways that get you a certain way west, which is 696. They got that clothes coming from the east side to west. Then they got some more places under construction. Now, everything is at a halt because they can't come to a decision on whatever. Like, this is crazy. <clears throat> we all got to take, what, two freeways and some of the main streets? Like, the bigger main streets? It's crazy here in Michigan. They need to get it together. I had no onion rings in such a long time. I can't even think. I don't know. It wasn't this year. I don't think it was this year at all. I had no. It's been a minute. I should have just asked for some sauce, but I didn't. I just <laughs> use the things that you sit down with. I don't know. See, I'm just saying. My mind was all discombobulated from all that stuff. Felt like I wasn't going to make it out. I was praying the whole time. Like, Lord, please just let me get out of this. 
And I'm glad I got a sense of direction because if you don't, back there, you don't know where you're going. You will end up somewhere. Now, oh my God. And that's not a good feeling. Knowing that you lost. Even though you got GPS, like GPS can guide you, but if you hit a flooded street, you're not going to try, like, try it out. I'm not, anyway. Some people would, just so they can get out of where they at, but you're going to get stuck, then you stuck by yourself somewhere you don't even know. I'd just rather not. But, I hope, like I said, I hope everybody had a good morning, and they're having... A good day at work, school, at home, chilling, whatever. But yeah. That was crazy. We'll go get y'all some Arby's, okay? Because I was kind of skeptical because, you know, I'm going to say when I order euros from Coney Island, sometimes they be tough, the meat be tough, sometimes it's like, okay, the bread is too thick, it just be too much. But this is just right. The bread is not too thick, the meat is tender, it's got good flavor. That cucumber sauce is on point. Mm hmm So. Mm. But I'm going to try to find me some king crab legs. And that's a decent price. And I get a bang for my buck. Because like I said, I was trying to tell you on the last the video yesterday that the crab I bought was $11. And, you know, I had it hold just in case people wanted to see like how do you, you know... Because mostly everybody always just buy the legs. So I figured I'd just show that just to uh, show you guys how you're supposed to eat it once you dispatch do whatever with it. But I know a lot of people probably won't <clears throat> won't prefer to just buy a whole one just to take it apart. But still, it was something for me to do. So whatever. But um, yeah. Like they say... You can eat the stuff in the head, but they don't pref they don't prefer you do that. But it's not bad. I I ate it before, and it just tastes like I don't know. What I can eat? Like really, really mushy mashed potatoes. I don't know. Maybe a little looser than that. I don't know, but. Yeah, so I'm going to try to find me some and do a video. Woo! Uh, good lunch. Um. Mm. still crunchy. Mm-hmm. This hat is like 
taking away from the lights in my face. It was a hat kind of day, y'all. It really was. My hair is all natural. No chemicals. I haven't used, I haven't put a perm in my hair since 2007. So out here in this rain and all this mess, my hair wouldn't have lasted. So I'm like, yep, had it is. Y'all know I haven't really even been on Facebook like that. I don't know. It's just. It's so. Nah, it ain't going to taint me. But it's easy to just get sucked into that mess. People always going through some drama. Always talking about they can't find the right man. Always talking about they. Like, okay. When is your life ever good? When, when do you not have something to complain about? I just don't like people that's always complaining on Facebook. Always. It's always complaining, complaining, complaining. I'm like, okay, if you unhappy most of the time, I mean, we really don't be wanting to see and hear that. I mean, see it, basically. We can't hear you talking. So, I mean, some people go live and whatever, but I don't really watch too many people lives because they're not doing nothing but staring at the camera. Mm -hmm. Waiting on somebody to say something to them or write something. <clears throat> but... I really just been standing off of Facebook because it's like, whatever. You know, I'll post it when I do videos or something like that. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. You know, so I just been on YouTube watching people eat, do their thing. Because at the end of the day, I don't want no bad vibes. I don't want to see your problems because I don't be showing people mine. I don't care what you're going through. I just get through it, you know. And people are always on there like, oh, everybody always in my business. Because you put it on here. Like, what you expect for us to do? If you constantly posting about your shit, I mean, let me excuse my French, y'all. About your stuff, your personal business, you, you just writing subliminal statuses. Like, what you think somebody going to do? Are they going to ask you about it? Or are they going to assume about it? That's it. And it just get depressing being on there. Like, okay, I, I'm just... I don't have to delete anybody off my friend list. I don't have to do that. I just take a break from it. Because it's too much energy doing all that. Some people I do have to. I, I have deleted. Because it's like I just can't take it no more. I just can't. But for the most part, i just been sitting back chilling. Minding my business. Staying drama free. Because that's the best way to be. I'm now full. About to get back out here on the road and see who who need a ride somewhere. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'll figure it out. I'm trying to do different things other than what people have been doing because it just becomes boring to see everybody keep doing the same stuff. So of course I have to brainstorm and see what I'm going to do. So until next time, you guys, have a blessed day and stay prayed up.